As the 2021 cropping season ramps up, many farmers may be invited to sell their carbon credits. Companies such as Indigo are lining up buyers and sellers, says Indigo's Chris Harbort. Uh, the carbon program is really an opportunity for a, a new crop. Um, if you think about it, we're calling it the carbon crop. It's an opportunity for uh, new sources of revenue to come to agriculture. So companies that traditionally are not buying the primary grain product are interested in carbon credits and producing carbon credits in partnership with farmers. Indigo is an intermediary in the process, but Harbert says if corporate America wants to pay a farmer to offset its carbon use via energy consumption, it wants assurance the farmer is sequestering carbon. The credits have to be real. Uh, carbon credits, you don't actually deliver the carbon, like you deliver grain on a farm, you don't actually deliver the carbon, you leave it in the ground. So everyone has to agree that you've done the work correctly and appropriately. So that, that realness means that I need you to document what's happened on the farm. So we need records of what you've planted, and what's gone on. So that's the first part, realness. The second part is a concept called additionality, and it means you have to do something new on the ground that year. Uh, then there's permanence, which means it has to stick around. It has to be a credit um, in order for it to actually make an impact on the atmosphere. It has to stick around and be uh, something that the farmer sticks with and does for the next several years. And the last one is leakage, meaning that you really can't uh, stop producing on a piece of ground, that we need you to keep the yields where they were. Um, otherwise, another part of the globe may have to start to produce that crop as you take something out of production. We'll find out next week about values and rules of the road. But for today, that's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.